In this video, we are going to be talking about fonts. And I'm going to be starting in my Creative Fabrica account. I have Creative Fabrica All Access, but they have this beautiful font bundle that is free today. If you're not watching today, it's unfortunate, but you can still get the all access for a great deal. I'll have a link below to this bundle and to Creative Fabrica. I um, enjoy using their fonts. So what I want to do is I want to show you also they have a giveaway going on today. If you um, share this, you could win a gift card for 12 by 12 cardstock from cardstock shop and a Cricut Maker 3. So share this and enter to win. All right, so I'm going to go down and show you some of the fonts that I, it comes with 70 different fonts in this bundle. So I went through a few of them and I picked out some that I want to download. And then I'm going to show you how to install them on a PC and how to bring them into Canva. And hopefully we will use Font Cloud and show you how to use some of those um, glyphs and swashes. So we will get started. So I thought I would, I picked out this Mad Magista Wednesday, Valentia, Salma, December script. There's one called Study and one called Candy Chocolate here. So let's start with... Let's start with, let's see, Magista. So I'm going to go find this here and I'm going to open it and slide it over where you can see it here. All right. So I opened it up. I had downloaded it and I extracted the files. Now you're going to see that it says open type font and true type font. Um, you want to go with the open type font because that's going to give you more options and more features. So um, true type font, you can use too if you're just going to use it on your computer. But I suggest uploading the open type font. So all you do here is you click on it and then you can see what it's going to look like. It's got the cute hearts in there and everything. So you just hit install. That's it install and now it's installing it onto my computer so now if you use a cutting machine or something you can use this font but you need to close your program and then reopen it after you install the font so now it's installed it's that easy now it's installed on my laptop so i'm going to go to word and we'll pull it up and see see it here I'll open a new document. Um, I'll uh, put some text in here and then just go highlight that and go here and let's see if we can find it. Matt, just uh... yeah, up we go. A lot of fonts that I've been uploading. Creative Fabrica has so many that it's just fun. Um, Magista, there it is. So there you go. That's it's that easy to do. So now I'm going to close this because we don't need that open right now. Um, so now I'm going to close this as well because we've got that uploaded here. Now I'm going to go into Canva and show you how to upload it there. So I'm going to add a text box here. It says add a text box and I will write Magista. Oops, I got my cap lock on. Magista. Okay, so now I'm going to stretch this out so you can see it. So now I'm going to go into here where it's up here is where you choose your font style. And then you go to upload a font right here. Click upload font. Now I'm going to go into this and I'm going to find Magista. There it is. And I want open type font file. So I'm just going to double click on that. And it's going to ask you if you have permission to use it. Yes, I do. So I'm going to upload this when you have a Creative Fabrica All Access and these free ones too. You do have all the rights to use them. So now I just uploaded that font. So let's go and find it here. So I want to change this to that Magista. Mm -hmm. J-K-L. There it is. Very good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Creative Fabrica. And if you go under tools, you can see, oops, sorry. 
Uh, let's go back there. Go to tools here. And oh man, I'm just not good today. Go click on font cloud right there. And this is free with your Creative Fabrica all access account. So open font cloud and it'll come up here. And I am going to upload that font into, I'm just going to drag and drop it here. I'm going to open it back up, get this out of here and find that font Magista. And I'm just going to drag and drop it right in here. Oh, all right. Don't we'll do it that way. I'll do it this way. Browse. There it is. Open type font. Double click on it. Now it's going to upload that. It's bringing it in. So let's take a look here. I'm pulling it up. Whoop. Let me close these. It's loading it. So we're going to give it some time here to get these this script loaded. So now you can see that it is in our um, in our font cloud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look and see if there are any. There they are, the glyphs. So um, uh, let's click. OK, so let's go back here. I'm going to make this M have that cute little heart design. So I'm going to click on this M right here. Just click it. And as you can see, it says character copied to clipboard. So now you go back to your Canva and I'm going to delete that M. So I'm backspace and then I'm going to hit control V. There you go. That is that simple to do. So now I'll make this smaller and I'll do the A on the other side. So now I go back to font cloud, but I want the A on the other side, right? Uh, at the end. There we go. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I want the small A. I am not seeing it, but that's just because I'm going too fast here. There it is. So now double click, not double, just click, and it copies it to your clipboard. Then you go back, delete your A, and then control V, paste it right in there. That's simple. So now let's go on to our next font. All right. So another one that I thought was really nice was that candy chocolate. So let's go find candy chocolate here. Oh, there's so many in here. They're in, and they're in alphabetical order, but there's two sets of them. So here we go. Candy chocolate. I'll slide it over where you can see it. So now I if to download to upload it into my computer, install it. I just double click it. And it's going to open up and it shows you what it's going to look like. Then you just hit install and then it's on your computer. I don't install all of these on my computer because I use Canva mainly right now for my designing. So you don't need to have them all on your computer. But if you are using a cutting machine, you do need them on your computer. So let's go here to add a text box and we are going to do candy chocolate this time and we will upload this one see now it came in as the last font that i used which was that um Mag magista so all right so now let's upload this candy chocolate so again you go to fonts and then upload a font and here is candy chocolate so let's get this in it says by uploading my own custom font. I acknowledge that I own candy chocolate and we do have the rights with creative fabric on this. So I'm going to upload it. Here we go. All right. So now let's find candy chocolate here. Uploaded. I want to highlight this. Let's get that highlighted and go to candy chocolate. There it is. It's that simple. Isn't that awesome? So I don't think there's any fonts and glyphs with this one. So, uh, well, let's try it. Let's see. Um, uh, bring it in into our font cloud here. And candy chocolate right here. We'll give it a second to upload. Oh, that didn't take long. That's why I don't think there are fonts and glyphs in this one. Uh, oh, there are. Oh, look at that. All right, so now let's go here and I'll take this C backspace and now go and I will get a C here. Right here. 
I can do a capital too, but I'm going to take this small one because it's so cute. And I copied the character to clipboard. So I'm going to go in and just put my cursor back there and control V. Oh, that is so cute. So let's do the Y as well. Um, 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 um. U, V, W, X, Y. Here we go. Copied to clipboard. Go in. Backspace and control V. And there you go. Isn't that the cutest? All right. So we'll leave that one there. We'll add another page. And um, let's see another one that I want to upload here. Let's see. I have them written down. Let's do Selma. Um, can't find it here. Whoops. Downloads. Um, right here. Beautiful font bundle. Selma. Essay uh, right here. All right. So I've already showed you how to put it on your computer. So we don't need to do that. So let's add a text box, Selma, and I'll open this up. And of course, it brings it in as the last font that you've used in Canva. So it brought it in as the white chocolate or candy chocolate. I'm sorry, I must have white on my mind today. Um, then I'm going to go in and I'm going to upload that. So I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm going to find Selma here right here. And I want open type font. Yes, I can upload it. Here we go. Now let's see if we can put that in the font cloud as, cloud as well. All right. Um, so let's go to Selma here. It does put them in alphabetical order, which is really nice as long as you can remember what the name is. Oh, la, la, la. There it is right there. Selma regular. Okay, I'm going to shrink this down so it fits on, whoops, so it fits on one line for you here so you can see it better. But there you go. There it is. Now let's go to the font cloud and we'll upload that one just because I'm curious to see if it's got any fonts and glyphs in it. This is kind of fun checking out these new options that we have here. All right, Selma. And again, it's taken a little bit of time. Not bad. Came up right away. All right. Oh, yes, it does. Look at that. Okay, let's do the S. So we'll go back in here. I'll space, backspace, control V. And there we go. Um, I think you get the gist of this, but I will put, I'll do the A as well. Uh, uh, is that A? No. Boy, they're small. It's hard to see them. Um, are getting close. There we go. Copy, go in, and now we just backspace and control V. Oh, wow. Yeah, that works great. Okay, so let's try another one. So, um, I can't remember what another one I had. Let's see here. Let's do study. I thought that was really pretty. See if I can find it here. Um, go in and my downloads study was one of my favorites when I was looking at this bundle. Um, here it is. Okay, so I'm going to, I'll open this one on my um, laptop as well. See, it's a very pretty one. I thought it was very pretty. So I'll install it. Again, that's how you do that. Very easy. So now let's go to our Canva and I'm going to put study here. Probably spelt it wrong because I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, maybe just stretch it out. Yep, forgot the D. All right, so this is study. Well, this isn't yet. So now I am going to go into my fonts again. Upload a font. I'll go back up one here. Study right here. Open type font. Here we go. Yes, upload. Here it comes. Now we're going to find it in our uploaded fonts. Ah, PQRS study. There we go. There it is. Beautiful. So now let's go into our font cloud and we'll do it again. Browse. And we're going to take the open type font. This open type will be the one that has the glyphs if it has any. So now we'll go back and we'll find swashes and glyphs. Yes, it's got beautiful ones. I knew this one did. That's why I picked this one. Um, let's do, let's do a capital S this time. Where's the capitals? Nope, that's just a plain one. R, 
S. So let's take this S and we'll backspace here, control V, and then we'll do the same for the Y. So we'll go to the Y. Here we go. The back end Y. I just click it, copies it to your clipboard, go in, put your cursor there, control V. Yay. Simple. Very, very simple. So that is how you can upload fonts on into Canva, and you can also install them on your computer. I hope this helped. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll have a link below for the Creative Fabrica.